morning, babe. <coughs> morning breath is pretty disgusting. And for whatever reason, I always think I don't have it, but my girlfriend does a fantastic job at letting me know that I do. <coughs> In order to figure out how to squash morning breath, let's talk about what causes it. During the daylight hours, bacteria in your mouth are hard at work breaking down proteins, amino acids, and even that piece of broccoli no one told you about that's been lingering in your smile since lunch. Thanks, Jim. This chemical process of breaking down food in the mouth produces foul-smelling volatile sulfur compounds, or VSCs for short. One of these sulfur compounds is actually hydrogen sulfide, the same chemical that makes farts smell so bad. So, in a way, morning breath is kind of like breathing farts. Ew. During the waking hours, our saliva washes away these VSC-producing bacteria before they can create the sulfur-smelling havoc. However, when night falls, the bad breath boogeyman comes out as our saliva production slows down. This nighttime dry mouth creates the perfect environment for the VSC-causing bacteria to party like it's 1999! Woo! Oh, yeah! Now that these bacteria have been manufacturing wretched smelling compounds all night, when you open your mouth to say buenos dias, their toxic masterpiece is unleashed as morning breath. <laughs> so, how does one get rid of these bad breath bacteria? Well, drinking water before bed will help physically wash them away, while brushing your teeth will reduce the amount of food particles the bacteria can feast on. But truthfully, so wouldn't lie to you guys, there is nothing you can do! Sorry, there's actually nothing you can do. You'll always have morning breath, but the best remedy for morning breath is to simply not open your dirty ass mouth until you can brush your teeth. And if you're not sure if you have rank morning breath, just lick your wrist and take a whisk. The VSCs will spread over your skin, allowing you to test the level of your own putrid mouth odor, you disgusting individual you. And you know, well, this could come in handy if let's say you're waking up in someone's bed who you might not know. Maybe it's somebody that you met last night. Not that I'm saying that you would do that. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> but it's possible.